Hello guys, it's Nato Ace. So, I want to give my thoughts on Yacht Club's latest news about Shovel Knight, the treasure trove, or the new collection, Divinity Version, because if you've been following the Shovel Knight game and Yacht games, is that there's supposed to be another DLC, you know, extra game mode called Tre uh, Shovel Knight the King King's card something like that and basically you get to play as King's Knight and of course been since like 2017 they showed a three pack amiibo and then of course down the line they also showed a new like a mode for Sh Shovel Knight call Showdown so what is it about this one I'm giving my thoughts on my this vlog first of all sort of a follow up on my amiibo acquisition story about the Smash Brother February 15th release. Again, like I said, it's a little bit concerning, but I don't think it's a big deal. I think they're gonna restock faster and a faster pace there. Just have to wait and shouldn't be patient. But to some extent, Nintendo should, was well aware that you know people want it, so they wanted to go in, just get it, and go out. But it is what it is. I don't know what Nintendo's direction this one. However, with the case with the Shovel Knight, and the reason also it's kind of related with the three pack is that Yacht Game basically announced that once again the King's Game Shovel Knight expansion DLC will be delayed to the second half of 2019. So chances are, as the earliest of July, the latest is December, according to them, they needed more time for the game. And I said it before, I said it again, everybody knows it by now when it's a delay. A delay a game is good. A bad game will always be a bad game. Me and Mortal's quote there because of Smash by the Raw being delayed multiple times. If a delay game will help them make the game improve, they should do it. Rushing game, you see what happens. So in that part, if you're anticipating this game, I feel for you, but I can agree with Yacht Game. If they needed more time to perfect the game, I say they should do it. So with that said, a lot of question is, what about the Showdown, uh, Shovel Knight Showdown, which is a separate game, a sort of an expansion, but the game itself, they say that's also going to be delayed because they want to focus first on the Keys game, Shovel Knight expansion, and then Showdown. And so another one is, what about the Amiibo 3 pack? Yes, uh, this has been announced since like January of 2017, and suddenly uh, some down the line, somewhere down the line, that's what I meant. They basically announced that, oh, it's going to be April 2019, and a lot of people were complaining, do I have to wait that long? Hey, you know, for me, not a big deal. Amiibo is a collectible thing. You know, it is what it is. It was, I pre-ordered the game, the Amiibo, when I still have the Amazon 20% off, and that they're still doing it on Toys Alive. That's how far back. So, unfortunately, also, they have to delay the Amiibo. You say, why delay the three-pack Amiibo if it's already ready? Just because the game is delayed. Well, exactly. That's the reason why. Because the game is delayed. That's the whole point. According to Yacht Game, they wanted to focus on the game. However, they also want to release everything in one single day. The game and the Amiibo. Kind of makes sense because that's how you market Amiibo, believe it or not. You're a collector, you're a toy, you're probably going to buy it no matter what when. What about the general consumer? It makes sense. You have to keep in mind that releasing an amiibo like like a new amiibo whatever sometimes it best work conjunction with the game's release in the case with super mash brother ultimate of course you got inkling girl wolf and ridley makes sense in the case with breath of the wild of course there were some breath of the wild amiibo coming out uh splatoon 2 there was a splatoon amiibo Fire Emblem Warrior, you get the Fire Emblem Chrome and Tiki. Uh, what else? Oh, Bowser, Mario and Luigi, Be Mean Bean Kingdom and Ma Bowser's Minion, Koopa, uh, Goomba and Koopa, uh, the Metroid 2 pack, because of Samus 2, Samus Return for the 3DS. You kind of see the pattern there. To some extent, if the Amiibo is sort of a new series in the line, it has to be conjunction with the game because it just makes sense. You can't just release and say, well, what's it related? Because Remember, Amiibo is also, is, it may be a collectible, it may be additional DLC function for some people that don't like. It is still marketable, has to be marketable for the general consumer, that's the reason why. But when it's like waves later, like in the Smash Brother game, 
then you kind of can able to release it later like a toy but when it's first debut you have to conjunction with the game so it's same goes with the shovel knight with the three pack because of the latest uh, shovel knight the king's game because there's also going to be a new like physical release for the ps4 and switch especially the switch that has all of it including i think showdown and king's game I don't know if that's a real title, I'm just going to say that. Because they kind of did that also, believe now, with Shovel Knight when it first came out. There was a game that was conjunction with it, which is the physical version of Shovel Knight. There you go. So, yeah, I'm, I don't really blame them for that one. So, that's, I mean, kind of makes sense. And hopefully with Box Boy and Box Girl, they finally, in the U.S. at least, at least in the U.S., not in Japan, in the U.S., they can finally bring out QB, Box Boy, Amiibo. They kind of didn't do it even when the game was released. I know, I think the, the game was released like months later after the Japanese release. And they didn't bother with the Amiibo. It was the same goes with Monster Hunter Stories. The six Monster Hunter Amiibo was not released outside of Japan. And the reason is the game was released a year later after its Japanese release. And in the in America, in the U.S., it was already been... that's a, It was a year that I think at June... It was a Splatoon 2, and the final DLC, Smash Brother Amiibo, was out. And then what? In August, another Amiibo. And then in September, another Amiibo. And in October, another Amiibo. I mean, October of 2017, believe it or not, there was packed of Amiibo. A lot of Amiibo was back there. The Goomba, Koopa, Krom, Tiki, and of course, where the outfit of Mario, Peach, and Bowser. So... You kind of see the idea there, kind of unfortunately that one, but in the case with Box Boy, Box Girl, maybe, unless in the US, it's same goes with, if there's again going to be a Monster Hunter stories for the Switch, they'll be wise, but again, back to the Shovel Knight, yeah, it kind of makes sense there. I don't feel bad about it, I don't feel bummed about it, I think it just makes sense there. So, for people who are anticipating this game, I kind of feel for you, but if a delay game means better for the game, for better experience, hey, I'm all for it. And releasing the Amiibo conjunction with the game, it just kind of makes sense for the perspective business. So, yeah, that's my thoughts about it. I mean, not really too sad about it. Kind of makes sense, along with Amiibo. Ah, we'll just see. I mean, if the delay, hopefully that means a better experience on this new expansion for Shovel Knight. With that, I'll see you guys later.